back home now, and during the vacation, I got up to 62,000 buckets of sand. I believe I did 24,000 in like four days. Yeah, pretty good. I'm telling you guys, uh, Blue Dragons have become so much better once I got the Mitz Guild unlocked. It's really close to a bank, so fill up my inventory. I don't have to bring that many supplies per trip. Bank with the Ring of Dueling, reset my stats, and then come right back with the Mythical Cape. That's why I'm wearing that instead of a Fire Cape. Makes it easier. Well, that was quick. Damn. I really hope on the way to getting my Slayer up, I get way more tasks. They're so good. 64 rune crafting. I decided that we were going to do a quick uh, grind of this because I am, again, low on natures and cosmics. I think this is the last time I'm going to sit here and actually craft these two runes without doing ZMI. So we have 6,700 essence. I will try to do all of those. Uh, should get me over 65. We'll see. Um, I've been trying a new method, actually, now that I have the quest cape. Instead of using the abyss, it's about the same speed as the abyss, doing the quest cape to the normal altar. And obviously there's no risk, so I really enjoy it. It's like 20k rune crafting an hour. It's not bad. I think we're going to take a nice break here at 65. We used about 7,000 essence uh, in one go. We got up to 6,000 natures and 7,000 cosmic. So that's going to be great for now. Yo, 76 crafting. Haven't had a level in a little while. May as well spoil what I'm doing. So I am currently collecting alkables. We're going to do another somewhat big agility alkin grind. Just making up some dehydes from all the dragons I've killed. I think it's like 150 dehyde in total, in green and blue, so it's gonna be a lot of money. All right, 78 crafting. Look at those two levels there. I have spent way too much time making these battle stabs. I went and made 2,000 air orbs, took a few hours, and yeah, we're almost done. 37 more to go. Now, after all of that hard work I just showed you guys, this is the culmination. Got 1,700 battle stabs just by collecting them every day from the Varrock Diaries. We also got the Javelin Heads from the Demonic Gorilla tasks. That was two tasks worth. Just to reiterate, they elk for a lot more if you don't make them into the Javelins. So keep them as just the heads and you're good. You can easily calculate, but you'll find out when I actually finish the elking. The plan is to do agility again uh, while doing all these elkables. It should be about 500 per hour while at the Relica course. I did this, I think, back in episode 13, so nothing new. It's going to be a nice grind for agility. It motivates me to actually train the skill. I'm not sure how far we can get. I'm hoping to get really close to 85, if not get it. And the main reason I'm motivating myself right now is we're sitting at 142 marks of grace, right? All of this can go into Amelie's Crystals for stamina potions. The amount of Aventos that I have, I have about 900 here. And then with the Avento seeds, I have 60. So together, I probably am nearing around 1,500. To make all of those into staminas, once I have the level, I need 450 marks of grace. So, just letting you know, the goal is to knock out 300 more marks. I'm not sure how long that'll take. Before I get into all that jazz, I wanted to go knock out a couple diaries. So, the fragment of cards I just finished, here we go. And the main reason I did this is with the hard diaries, you unlock this shortcut. You would normally use this to get to this patch faster. But what they did now is with the Troll Stronghold Teleport, that you unlock from the Making Friends with My Arm quest, which I did not too long ago, um, it just teleports you right up here. It went from like the longest patch to get to, to like one of the quickest. Next up, let's get the Kandarin Hards as well. And that requires a Mythal Dragon kill. I feel like I'm definitely overgeared, especially with the Arams. I'm so glad I have that. Should be a pushover. Too easy, hell yeah. There's a lot you actually get from this diary, but I'm just gonna mention the two that matter to me the most. So, first of all, the Catherby patch, you get an additional 5% more yield for herbs, putting it up to 10% more. That's going to be really helpful, obviously. And speaking of, Herblore, 70 from the lamp. The other reason I like this diary is I get an additional teleport with Camelot. I can teleport to Sears now, instead of just normally at the uh, castle gates over there. It teleports me really close to the bank. Either way, it's a quick teleport. I'll probably be using it a lot. And I guess it's a great time to finally mention this. These are the herb seeds that I'm looking at right now. Yeah, I have not done herb runs in over a month. We finally have all the diaries and different things I wanted to jump back into herb runs. And we have a lot of herbs to go through. So I did some calculations. If I do five runs a day, all of this is going to take me a month. So yeah, I'm going to have to go really ham. As I mentioned earlier, with my plans with the Marks of Grace, I really, really want to get those stamina potions. The stamina's are going to be game-changing, so that's going to be the motivation. First level. 
during agility. 85 magic. Deep on these elks. I think we're getting pretty close to halfway done. Are you serious? I was looking forward to it for hours, and I missed the message of 84 agility. Wow. Uh, well, yeah, we have 1,200 more, so it's about two and a half more hours. Should at least get a decent dent into 85. That was a grind and a half, but here we are with the last elkable in my collection. 19.1 mil cash from zero from all these elks. 93 marks of grace, and these um, herbs and limp roots were from the farm runs throughout the day while I did this. We got 300,000 agility and 250,000 magic. Unfortunately, I didn't get as many marks of grace that I actually wanted. I mentioned that I wanted to get 300 more, so I'm only one third done there. That's gonna be a lot more agility. I did some calculations according to my averages. I'll be around like mid 86 agility by the time I finish that. So either I need to just do straight agility sometimes or wait until I get more elkables, which always comes from Slayer. So shouldn't be any issue. It's just gonna have to put it on hold. It's been over a day since I've recorded and finished that agility grind. And there's a reason for that. Prepare yourselves, guys. 70,000 Molten Glass. And that's using the Super Glass Make spell on the Lunar Spellbook. Which, if you didn't know, there's actually two different methods of doing so with Giant Seaweed. It's either the 212 method, which is 2 Giant Seaweed, 12 Sand per inventory, or 318, which, of course, is 3 Giant Seaweed, 18 Sand. I prefer the 318 method. Uh, you end up getting more Molten Glass per giant seaweed just because of how the spell calculates very simple but it's very very rapid so it takes a little while to get into the groove of it i was getting through 1500 seaweed an hour uh which is huge that's that's a big number but back to uh, what i was saying about this i originally was just gonna go for the fury but i realized i'm so close to just finishing that i may as well so hear me out we have more than enough giant seaweed i actually have 4,000 more than i need to finish the skill uh, so don't worry about that but in terms of sand, I'm about 32,000 away. So seeing as I did 24,000 on vacation in four days, I could probably do 32,000 in no time. So we're going to make the next goal of collecting that sand uh, and then use the spell to finish up the rest of all that. And then I'll have like a million molten glass to use. And um, I'm actually putting off a few other AFK grinds in the meantime to do that. And it might slow me down in the long run doing this, but I just want to knock the skill out of the way. I think the earlier I get it, the better. I think it'd be really impressive. So after all that crafting and skilling for the past, like, four days, I need a break. So we're going to get back into some Slayer. Got a gargoyle task. It's a fat, like, 240. It's my first extend. Yes, it happened, guys. All right, I actually have supplies. It's looking good. All right. Bam. That 3,000 Slayer is insane, dude. Oh, what a stacked clue. I got a Blue Dragon Mask. I'm not really sure if I've had that before, but... Ancient Page 3! Please be something I don't have. So I do not have that Blue Dragon Mask. I think I have... Yep, I have the green one. Nice. As for the page, it is... Yep, of course. Four of those now. <laughs> Holy lord. Oh, and I may as well mention this from the clip earlier when I showed off my crafting... Gains. I actually bought uh, a little over 10,000 Astro Runes over from, uh, I think, Baba Yaga is how you say it. Uh, that was pretty quick. It was like a mill. Just if you're wondering how I got all those Astros, it's pretty quick from her. Oh my god, look at that clue. I, I fucking got attacked by an Anku. Oh my, I've had one of those before, so nothing crazy. I think that's a new page! That it is! Three out of four of the book that I want to finish. This might hurt a bit, but I need to restock on some broad bolts. I have another shaman task. So we're going to buy some unfinished broad bolt packs. The last time I did this, I actually accidentally bought arrowheads, but yeah, uh, this is going to hurt. Oh, okay. It was only 300k, but yeah, 5k broad bolts ready to go. Hello, 78 Slayer. What the hell is happening? All right, I just got up. First herb run of the day, and we got 19 Ranars in the first patch. Today is going to be a good day. Here we go. 91 farming. I can now plant two spirit trees at a time, which means I can start using up my spirit seeds that I have in the bank. I have like 30, I don't know. I've been doing so many birdhouse rounds, I have a million. Gotta love them, 81 ranged from the lizard boys. It's always bittersweet <laughs> getting a hard clue right at the start of the trip, so I gotta go leave now. Worth it though, this is gonna be good. Just opened my hard clue, got uh. 29k, but this is actually a unique blessing, so I think I'm 5 out of 6 now. I don't actually have bank space, but if I look up blessings, 
Yeah, I have five out of six now. That's crazy. I don't know if this is a unique uh, Bandos page, though. It is not. The Elite Clue, uh, I think that's rare. It has to be pretty rare. Apparently, this is one in 1,200. Damn. Gotta kill KBD for this Elite Clue. This is my first kill, I think, on this account. Just trying out the range setup with Diamond Bolts E. Should be pretty nice. I think most people know this, but I may as well give the tip. Uh, if you stand melee distance, pray melee, you actually get hit by the mage attacks significantly less because some of those attacks might be switched out for melee, which can be pretty crucial. Easy peasy. That was a lot of steps for this. Better be worth it. Yeah. What did I expect? I have not seen a master clue in forever. I literally joked that I was going to get the Infernal Axe uh, step from Fallow, and here we are! Wow! A great. Love it. I can do 90% of them. And I still get that shit. Of course I miss it. 90 strength and a Mystic Robe top! Oh my god. That's really cool. Thanks for that. I don't actually know if I have that in the bank, I forget. But I want to collect all the Mystic sets, put it in the house. I think I've said that before. What a clip, man. Alright, I want you guys to pay attention. Look at my inventory. This is a... Almost max amount of gargoyles, 248 kills right here, 800k cash. I got so lucky in Elkables. And then if I was going to Elk that, that'd put me almost to 900k. This is why you got to do gargoyle task. I got four hard clues too, so it took forever. But if I could get a gargoyle task every day of my life, oof, that is going to be some fun content tomorrow. Can we get another Zenite? Yeah, we're going to act like that didn't happen. Look away, guys. Look away. Nah, it's fine. I do want to collect the uh, different ballistas, so. I don't know how rare that is. I think it's like 1 in 750 or something. Having a good task, though. We're uh, 69 kills and took all day, but we got the demonic gorilla task done with. I think that puts us up to almost 500 KC on those gorillas as well. All right, all right. This is interesting. I have a cow fight task, and... Recently, I decided if I get this task, I'm going to go attempt a Kelphite Queen kill. Because I need it for the Desert Hard Diary. There's a big reason I want to knock that out. So yeah, we're going to attempt a kill. It's going to be pretty scuffed, but it'll work out. Welcome to the most shitty cakey setup in the world. So uh, here it goes. It's uh, I'm going to use the Dragon Battle Axe as my main weapon. It's a pretty decent crush. And I'm going to be uh, walking under KQ, so the speed of the weapon doesn't matter too much. And then uh, we do have the general range with diamond bolts. I'm going to try the arc light as my spec weapon. Uh, it might land a hit. If it does, it'll reduce the defense by 5%. Ideally, if I do have to bank, uh, I can always do that, come back, and hopefully if no one touches the KQ, I can still continue the fight. All right, here we go. Hopefully the arc light hits. No success. There you go. Second phase. Yes. more there you go goodbye i had to bank twice during that kill i actually died because i was an idiot <laughs> and i left clicked it my uh quest cape to tell you out it was bad it was bad but uh we got it we got it hard task finished so i'm free to go do this diary uh let's go grab that so earlier i did make this unlimited charges for one mil so normally this would teleport you into the temple right and uh, this is like one of the fastest ways to go get ancients because I run out of the temple and then I make my way over to the desert treasure pyramid and I change to ancient spells. Very good for dust devil bursting. But now with the hard diaries, I can actually teleport to the entrance, which will be significantly faster as the pyramid is right there. And then additionally, there is a guy in Narda on the herb lore symbol where I can make unfinished potions by giving him herbs for 200 GP each. That sounds a little weird on paper, but it's huge because making unfinished potions gives you no experience. It's a lot of time sunk. Uh, that's going to make the Herblore grind pretty much feasible. So I'm very excited to have this diary done. I just went and did the Christmas event. Got this abomination of an outfit. I, I love it. It's almost as dumb as I look in real life. Anyway, we've done a lot this time around. And I do apologize for how long this one took to come out. Because, you know, I was on that vacation, and then I came back with no clips, so I had to really put in some time to get some. But man, I love where my account is right now. I'm just at the point where Slayer's getting really, really enjoyable. 
and very, very good for my account. We're almost up to Necreals, and I would love to get those very soon. Two more levels to go. If you are interested in seeing my progress live, you can go check out my live stream over at twitch.tv slash nooblet. I stream almost every single day. Just come over and say hi. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.